get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with Macken's Gym Marbella. We're in Canning Town here at the Peacock Gym. Joined by Stephen Simmons, my old mate. How Very are you? Good. I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I've just, I literally, I think I saw a picture posted the other day. I don't know if you took it or both you took it, one of you took it. And I thought, oh, he's here. He's so here, he's in London. I did, I messaged you straight away, thought, got to get you before you go home. Yeah, so, yeah. Been sparring over here yeah, with, yeah. with Oval? We sparring over on Monday and then sparred uh, Biola um, just there. Yeah, obviously Oval's got uh, his big fight with Marco yeah. Hook coming up and uh, you're out yourself on the 1st of October yeah, so in Glasgow. So I think there's another week or something between us, so yeah. it worked out well to get some sparring together. Yeah, so everything's, how long have you been here? Uh, since Monday. Since Monday? But then Monday afternoon. Yeah, and you're going home today? Going home today. Yeah. It's a nice wee, nice wee trip, good bit of sparring, all on the, all on the bank for well, play night. That's it, so you're about, well, more or less exactly a month away. Yeah. So, um, opponent wise, nothing? Nothing yet, uh, just waiting. All I, all I can do is just train like a, a warrior and get on with it, and whoever, whoever's in front of me just gets dealt with on the day. Yeah. I mean, obviously, since you defeated Dickinson, you've put together three wins, um, and now it's all about sort of getting a bit more momentum behind you yeah. uh, pushing forward. It was good, like the calibre of opponents that I was fighting weren't great. They were just taking over fights until something big came up. Uh, I was unfortunate uh, and back in April I was maybe fighting uh, Alexander Yusikov in Ukraine but due to injury he uh, he had to pull out so that one fell through so I was a bit gutted with that and then I've just been waiting for someone coming up and then uh, MGM of uh, delivered and got my title shot for the 1st of October. Definitely. I mean, MGM Scotland has been going from strength to strength. Um, yeah. MGM as a whole has been going from yeah. strength to strength with, uh, I mean, they signed Stephen Orman today. Yeah. So, uh, it's, going, it's going global, isn't it? Uh, they're doing great. Daniel uh, working with different promoters, managers all about the UK, different gyms. So just constantly signing fighters and great fighters at that. Mm. And Sam Carnock has, has taken, taken this like duck to water, uh, his role uh, within the MGM as yeah, well. Yeah. So, um, but um, like I said, you're four weeks out. Um, when do you expect to have an opponent named? Uh, it could be any time. Uh, Sam just says, just keep keep training away, and someone will come up. So, I'm just I'm just training as hard as I would if I had an opponent. Uh, treating it like uh, a world title. So. I've just got to keep plodding away and do what I'm doing and get fit and be strong. Where do you think you are at this stage of your career at the moment? Right now? Yeah. Uh, I'm up there. Uh, British, Commonwealth, uh, European. Uh, not too far away from uh, world, but I've, got, I've yet to prove it at the British and Commonwealth level first. So uh, hopefully something like that will come up very soon but I'll, uh, I'm happy with the, the title shot that I've got coming up. I don't know what title it is yet but I know I've got a title fight so I'm happy the way things are going. keep seeing a re-emergence of your uh, your beef with Camacho pop up every now and again. Ah, he's just Why a, is that still going on? He's just a stupid deluded rat. He wins the southern area title which in hindsight isn't much of a title. Let's face it, it's a good stepping stone to move on to English and then British and, and stuff like that, but he's already failed the English level, so he had to step down a peg or two. Uh, and I don't know why he keeps mentioning a man name, he's wanting a rematch and all that. Look, look if he wants a rematch, get his, get his management team to come up with a silly figure and he'll get a rematch. Show me, show me 30 grand and then the fight will happen, but if they're not going to show me money to beat him up again, then it's never going to happen. I He's think there would be some, I'll say some, I think there'd be a lot of interest in seeing a rematch really between you and Waddington. But the interest 
I wouldn't be interested in it there, really. I don't think any. Is it not? No, that not for for me. It's not there. Um, I don't know about the public. Uh, they, they, everybody keeps telling me that, like, that they just stop mentioning his name. But it's it's mental to come down here and just see that how many people don't like him as well. It's, it's incredible. You live in London and nobody likes you. What's happening there? God. So nah, he's uh, he's got no chance at a rematch unless he. Uh, his manager team, as I say, can show some money for the fight. Mm. Well, listen, that's it. I can't speak for everyone else, but obviously the first fight calls a lot of interest from yeah. press and conferences, etc. And he got me in a bad night, too busy trying to load up and put him away. But one thing that I didn't know, and uh, Danny knew that we knew that he would uh, fade, um, and I always come in strong late in fights, uh, and he did, and his chin was there for the taking. Well, that's it. So, I, I'm, I'm one that would be an advocate of, of that rematch. Wadi Camel Tolchin. I can't remember when it was. I just It wasn't that long ago. It was a, a few months ago. I just started seeing I think it was it tweets between yourselves. And I was thinking I don't it know, started back I don't up know, again. I don't know what came up, but he seems to like mention my name in his interviews. Uh, the man's a crank. He's an absolute crackpot. I'm sure he smokes it as well. Um... But um, how was sparring with Vogel? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah? Uh, aye. Punch good. hard, I can imagine. Oh, you can definitely feel his freakish power in the gloves. Yeah. Uh, so, aye, it was, it was really good for both of us um, at this stage coming up the fights. So, aye, it was, it was good coming down, good visit. And good to see you, of, of course, Cook. Obviously, made the long trip down here yeah, from Essex. It. it is an hour away. I'm an hour? It's an hour away. An hour away from where I'm now. Um, Obviously, Scottish boxing again is it's kind of back on track now. With obviously, Ricky Look, Burns. Yeah, it looks um, like it. it. Looks like it's getting busy, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. MGM, I've got four shows and and something like a space of four weeks. Yeah. Five weeks. Uh, you got Ricky Burns going back up to Scotland. Um, Josh Taylor's headlining a, a show in Edinburgh. So. Look, look at these shows happening in Scotland, it's buzzing. Oh, wow. It's a good period for Scottish boxing at the moment. Yeah, and, uh, definitely. But obviously the, the main the main one is that people need to come and watch me obviously. and Brophy for the first day of October, so people better start coming forward for the tickets, I've ordered them. Is that the Bella Houston? Bella Houston Sports Centre. I've, I've, never, ne I've never been there. So I've, I've been in, I've never boxed in it before. Uh, I got invited to a, a night with Anthony Joshua in, in there, so I was sitting up the top tail with Anthony Joshua when he was doing his talking, so it was a good night, but I've never boxed there, so I'm looking forward to it. So they've not, they've not done an evening with Stephen Simmons at the Bella Houston? Not yet, then? not yet. Not yet? Maybe soon. We, should, we could do one together, you know. Yeah. Evening with Stephen Simmons, hosted by Coogan Cassius. I'm sure it would sell out. What's the sellout let's, there? Let's do how it. Many, let's, how many people look for a sellout there? Let, let's get the Porsche tail in Edinburgh. Yeah? Yeah, the Balmoral. We could do it on the day after. Check, check on getting a wee hat. I hope I get a free night in the, <laughs> in the Balmoral with a wife. Um, I think my missus and your, your mother are, are still good friends. Oh, are they? Always Facebooking one another. This woman. Chat rubbish, isn't it? Oh, honestly, I've seen one comment that leads to another, it goes to another, <laughs> goes to another. And they are, they've never met and they're, they're, they're the best of friends. But oh, it's, it's crazy. It's that's crazy. good. I might even ask her if she wants to come up to... Glasgow on the first. Oh, on the first. I yeah. think you, are you coming up? Yeah. Yeah. Come up. Come up. We're gonna come up. Um, yeah. Maybe we'll stay at yours. I can stay at mine and uh, my wife's if you want. There's spare room there. <laughs> um, no, looking forward to it because obviously there's two there's two back to back shows. Obviously one in one, the Glasgow one, the MGM show on the first, and then the Friday after is yeah. in Burns. So. Are you got yeah. the Burns on as well. Well, that's the same night Friday as another night, yeah. MGM show in Liverpool on the Friday, so we're just working Toss out. our coin. Well, just who wants to do what? James usually gets his way with it. Right. So if I say, oh, I'd like to go here, and he says, well, I want to go here, James usually gets the, the right. nod, because otherwise he'll sulk. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so... I've, like, not see, I've not seen him in a while. How's, uh, he, how's he keeping? He's all right, he's all right. He's been... Uh, the music in the background there. Um, yeah, he's alright, it's just we've had a really quiet August, but now from Nice we break, you have any holidays or that? Yeah, went out to Marbella uh, for a little while and then uh, just got back from Holiday? Yeah. With the missus. Yeah. 
see a couple of the boys out there, Billy yeah. Joe and Charlie Edwards and that out there, uh, and Sonny. And then, uh, yeah, the week in Mauritius, and now I'm back and ready to go. Ready for action. Ready to go. I'm ready. So, you come here on a train? Yes. Isn't that a really ridiculous train journey? A lot, like a long time? No, you know what? See the time you go to the airport, you need to go on for about an hour, an hour and 20 before. The time you wait, and then the time you get on the plane, the time you land, the time you, wherever you land, then you've got to travel into London. You're talking four or five hours. The train only takes four hours, 20 minutes. <sighs> Trains cool. are getting quicker and quicker, though. Yeah, but four hours, 20 minutes on the train. Ah, but what would you rather do? Sit, sit on your ass or walk about the place, well, travelling? I've never got the train to Scotland, ever. Never. Always flew, so... I, but the thought of sitting on a train for four hours, 20 minutes is bad enough sitting on there for two hours to Liverpool or Manchester or whatever. But... I don't mind the train, it was alright. Good laugh with uh, Billy and Brophy. Oh yeah, I can imagine. No falling asleep. Some, like somebody letting off the stink bumps. Really? How old are you, Stephen? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm only as old as I feel. 32, but I feel 21. Are you 32? Yeah. I'm old than you. Getting on, but I've been in this boxing game 20 years now. 20 years? 20 years. 14 years an amateur, 6 years a pro. I'm nearly 6 years a pro. Loyal and dedicated to the one amateur gym, Leaf Victoria. Yeah. Well, listen, you ain't done too bad so far, so... Yeah, definitely. Like I said, just, uh, keep going. Still keep got still got another four or five years left in me. And you look at all the world champions at cruise about just now, they're on their mid-30s, so... You're, just, you're, you're I'm, I'm maturing, maturing today. all the time. I actually probably only started maturing last year. Really? Big kid, isn't it? <laughs> Big kid. All right, well, listen, Stephen, it's good to catch up with you. Yeah, you know, it was I said, good. Um, we'll I just want to say a, a big thank yeah. you to Martin and uh, all the boys at Peacock for um, the great hospitality and putting us up for a, a couple of nights and stuff. It's been amazing. The only thing it was missing was obviously getting the pick up at, in the limo and the police escort to the gym. But no, I'm only joking. <laughs> nah, it's been great, great hospitality. Oi, can you hear that? Oh, there we go, they're coming to get us. Spoke too soon, spoke too soon, so, Stephen. I, nah, it's been great, Martin and that, I mean, absolutely. James and definitely be back. Good people here, good people here at the Peacock. Um, all right, well, listen, we'll hopefully catch up with you um, before the 1st of October. Yep. Um, tickets still available. Tickets still available. From Four, you? 40, 60, and 100 from yep. me. Uh, so. There's a there's a, a good few still to be picked up. People have ordered them m months ago, so you just need to come and get them. The Bella Houston will be rocking. 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 Definitely. All right, Stephen Simmons, listen, thank you very much to all to IFL TV. Uh, best of luck with the rest of your camp. And like I said, we'll catch up with you uh, ahead of October first. Perfect. Nice one. Cheers. Thank you very much.